During this video, fish population estimates, trends, and management will be presented pertaining to the Teton River. The Teton River is a tributary of the Henry's Fork, the Snake River, in eastern Idaho, and is home to an important native Yellowstone cutthroat trout population. Through management efforts and regulations, the Idaho Department of Fishing Game works to preserve the genetic integrity and population viability of cutthroat trout in the Teton River. The Teton River has been managed as a wild trout fishery since 2004, with no fish stocking since that time. The effectiveness of management efforts and regulations in terms of both benefiting cutthroat trout and maintaining a wild trout fishery are evaluated every other year using fish abundance and species composition data from electrofishing surveys. This map of the Upper Teton River drainage, or the Teton Valley, identifies the locations of four monitoring reaches that have been established. The Nickerson or Green and Breckis, Breckenridge Red reaches are surveyed regularly, while the Buxton Yellow and Rainier Blue reaches are surveyed as opportunity allows. In 2011, all four monitoring reaches were sampled. The primary species present in the Teton River include native Yellowstone cutthroat trout, rainbow trout, and brook trout. Mountain whitefish, which are also native, are abundant in the Teton River as well, but their density was not quantified during 2011 electrofishing surveys. The department uses boat-mounted electrofishing gear to capture fish and estimate abundances within a mark recapture survey design. Trout are captured throughout the entire monitoring reach, measured, marked with a temporary mark, and released back to the river. The monitoring reach is again sampled at a later date, and the catch during the second run includes both trout with temporary marks that were previously captured and trout without marks that were not captured during the initial event. The ratio of marked to unmarked trout is used to estimate trout abundance. The following is a simple example of how fish populations are estimated using this design. Let's say 100 cutthroat trout were captured on the initial or marking run and marked with a temporary mark. Later, during the recapture event, another 100 cutthroat trout are captured and 10 of these had temporary marks. Since there were 100 cutthroat trout released with marks during the initial event and 10% of the recapture event were marked, then the 100 marked cutthroat represents 10% of the population, or the population estimate is 1,000. In its simplest form, this is how a marked recapture estimator design works. The models used to estimate fish abundances in the Teton River are more difficult. These more complicated models correct for sampling bias, which occurs because electrofishing gear captures larger fish more effectively than smaller fish. Correcting for sampling bias allows fisheries personnel to calculate more accurate fish abundance estimates. This graph displays fish estimates at the Nickerson Monitoring Reach on the Teton River from 1987 through 2011, with their corresponding 95% confidence intervals, which help describe how precise these estimates are. Estimates for cutthroat trout, orange circles, rainbow trout, black squares, and brook trout, blue triangles, are presented. The 2011 estimates of all three trout species were lower than the 2009 estimates. However, since confidence intervals overlap between the 2009 and 2011 estimates for cutthroat trout, only the densities of brook trout and rainbow trout were significantly lower in 2011 than in 2009. Overall, the trend of cutthroat trout abundance since the all-time low of 2003 is in the upper direction. The 2011 estimate of cutthroat trout was 264 trout per mile. The actual density for cutthroat trout may be higher. River conditions were atypical in 2011 and it is possible the cutthroat trout that would typically be observed in the Nickerson monitoring reach were still upstream in their spawning tributaries due to the late spawn that occurred in 2011 and the high water levels in the spawning tributaries. The total trout estimate for all three species combined in Nickerson in 2011 was 1,221 and is near the highest total trout estimate recorded thus far. The Buxton monitoring reach on the Teton River is downstream of the Nickerson reach. 
This reach has been sampled four times between 1987 and 2011. Similar to the other monitoring reaches, there is a general declining trend in fish numbers before 2003 and an increasing trend since 2003. The 2011 estimate for cutthroat trout orange circles was 239 trout per mile and was similar to the 1987 estimate for cutthroat trout. This was also the case for rainbow trout in the black squares. Brook trout, blue triangles however, were not numerous enough in 1987 or 2000 to estimate abundance, but were as abundant as rainbow trout in 2011. The total estimate for all trout in Buxton for 2011 was 799 trout per mile. As evident by this picture, the Teton River is a productive system and is capable of growing large and colorful fish like this healthy cutthroat trout. The Rainier Monitoring Reach has been sampled four times since 1987 and it is downstream of both Buxton and Nickerson Monitoring Reaches. The Teton Regional Land Trust and a landowner completed an extensive bank rehabilitation project in 2008. Since completion of this project, fish estimates have trended upward. However, there are several factors that could be affecting trout abundance besides bank conditions. The 2011 cutthroat trout estimate was 189 trout per mile, and the rainbow trout estimate was over three times that of cutthroat at 594 rainbow trout per mile. Brook trout are present throughout the Rainier Reach, but their densities were too low to calculate an estimate. We captured 151 brook trout in this 3.4 mile stretch of river. The total trout estimate for all three species was 1,025 trout per mile, and this is the all time high for this four year data set. The Breckenridge Monitoring Reach is located downstream of the Rainier Reach and has been regularly surveyed since 1987. As mentioned previously, river conditions were atypically high in 2011. Within the Breckenridge Reach, high spring flows caused bank erosion to occur, which introduced many new willow clumps into the stream channel. The combination of high flows and banks guarded by willow clumps with overhanging limbs caused the electrofishing efforts to be less efficient than normal. There were few fish that had temporary marks that were marked during the marking run that were later captured during the recapture sampling event, and therefore population estimates were not possible for cutthroat trout and brook trout. However, an estimate was possible when all three trout species were lumped together. The combined total trout estimate for 2011 was 988 trout per mile, which is the second highest in this 10 year data set, second only to 1987. During the 2011 survey, a total of 349 trout were captured. Of these, 10% were cutthroat trout, 65% were rainbow trout, including hybrids, and 24% were brook trout. A couple brown trout were also captured in the Breckenridge Reach, and they comprised less than 1% of the catch in 2011. In addition to the fish population surveys conducted in the Upper Teton River, the Idaho Department of Fish and Game also surveyed fish populations in the Lower Teton River at one site in 2011. This site is on the south fork of the Teton River. This lightly fished stretch of river grows large cutthroat trout, rainbow trout, mountain whitefish, and occasional brown trout. The survey site on the south fork of the Teton River, highlighted here in blue, is located between the Henry's Fork of the Snake River and the city of Rexburg. The South Fork Teton River at this site has been sampled four times since 1993. Rainbow trout abundance, as shown by the black squares, have been similar during surveys, while cutthroat trout abundances, as indicated by the orange circles, have increased. Since the 95% confidence intervals around the 2006 and 2009 cutthroat trout estimates do not overlap, the increase in cutthroat trout abundance can be described as a significant increase. The 2011 cutthroat trout estimate at the South Fork of the Teton River was 228 trout per mile, which is five and a half times as much as the 1993 estimate. Total trout abundance in the Teton River are at or near all time highs throughout the system. Native Yellowstone cutthroat trout are still present throughout the main river and cutthroat trout abundances have increased since 2003. 
Anglers headed to the Teton River should expect to find good trout numbers to go with the scenic vistas that abound along this unique fishery. Thank you for viewing this video and please contact Idaho Falls Regional Office of the Idaho Department of Fish and Game if you have questions about fish populations in the Teton River.